Have you ever watched someone do something incredibly difficult and think to yourself, Yeah, I can do that. Yes. Yes, I have. It's the reason I'm doing YouTube right now. But that's exactly how I started doing Super Mario Odyssey speedrunning. And this video is about my very first run. Now being cocky as I am, I decided, yeah, I don't need no routes or anything like that. Who needs to learn that stuff when you can just play the game? I know how to play this game. And that's about why this is my first run I've ever actually completed. But on to the video, let's go. As all good Mario speedruns start, we started in Cap Kingdom. Because there's literally no other option. And after Mario gets up from falling out of a freaking airship, we are off. So after starting off the run with some pretty bad movement, we skipped a probably important cutscene and got straight to it. And after using our magic hat to spawn a bridge, we are mostly done. Just gotta quickly possess a frog, do some neat little jumps, and we're at the boss fight. Just gotta quickly hit him once, waste 20 seconds, and then hit him again. Then boom, rabbit explodes, yellow stick spawns, takes stick, all the way to Cascade Kingdom. And by the power of editing, we're here. Now due to my complete lack of skill, we had to do the first moon, and waste a bunch of time on cutscenes, but whatever. And now it's time to move on to Dino Skip. Recently I've messed this up a shameful amount of times, and I'm hoping not to do it again. And wow, would you look at that, we completed it, it's almost like I'd reset the run if we didn't. And would you look at that, it's time to fight the big, large, deformed rabbit with the spherical metal dog. One, two, let's go. And with that out of the way, we grabbed our multi-moon, one extra moon, and we were out. So from the first two kingdoms of the run, it doesn't look like we're doing bad at all, actually. But recently, this is typically how all the runs have gone. You see, as I've reset the game so many times, while I've gotten pretty good at the early kingdoms, it's the late kingdoms where everything falls to shit. Just keep on watching. Boom, once again, by the power of editing, we're in Sand Kingdom. And my Sand Kingdom's actually gotten pretty good, as it's probably my favorite kingdom in the entire game. This is the only kingdom I've sort of made a route for myself for, simply because of the amount of times I have redone this kingdom. So our first three moons come from robbing this town of precious resources and electricity, and it's starting to make me question Mario's morals. Or rather so it would if anyone cared about that, but let's move on. After a couple bonks, we grabbed this moon that was in a random box, but thanks to my unfortunate skill level, we completely missed it, and ended up wasting a bunch of time coming all the way back. Whatever, I'm bad at this game, I get it. Next, we move on to this moon without doing the really cool skip because I'm just not that good at this game. And we have to hobble out and look stupid. Then I grab this moon by completely drowning Mario in sand and forcing him to crawl under a wall. But hey, that's what you get for robbing villages, is all I'm saying. Then we move this big thing of stone out of the way and grabbed our moon and coins. Then we grabbed our next moon by bombing this pillar and doing some pretty sick jumps. Which I thought was pretty cool, not to brag or anything. Then by crashing this bullet into this tower, we got this moon, which I thought was pretty sick, and I did it 100% without dying, and no questions will be asked. Then we proceeded to grab a few more moons that were not relevant enough to get their own clips, so they all go together. And then boom, six or seven moons later, we are done with Sand Kingdom. And now it's time to move on to Wooded Kingdom, where thanks to robbing the village, I had enough coins to get the shop moon, died once, and then got the two moons in the pipe. So not quite off to a bad start, minus that death I guess. Then I went on to grab some moons with the sprout, beat up this plant and grab that moon, and then started climbing up the tower, grabbing as many moons as we could on the way up. But then this blue dude started shooting his purple stuff at me, so I threw my hat at him and quite literally jumped him. Then we danced on his grave, stole his stuff, and we looked like we were making some pretty solid pace. Or at least we were, till I totally forgot where I was going and still had to get four moons. And after wasting seven minutes, we finally found them and moved on to Lake King. Like, that is seven minutes to find four moons, and I didn't even do the rock moon. Like, what was I doing? Anyways, once again, by the power of editing, boom, we're in Lake Kingdom. First order business, grab this random ground pound moon, and time to do the cool skip that I did not mess up at all whatsoever would not happen. I'm just that good at this game. And honestly, there's nothing really all too fancy about this kingdom, so we're gonna do a quick little moon montage. Hold on. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay. What's up? And just like that, we are done Lake Kingdom. Time to get back into our hat-shaped airplane and go to Metro Kingdom, and there's not going to be any problems. But wait, what's this? A twist? Oh, how could I have seen this one coming? We were ambushed in the sky, oh no. Well, since you got in my way, I guess it's time for me to beat the shit out of you. Bing, bang, boom, and he's dead. At least if the physics were accurate, he'd be dead. Now he's on his ship, because, you know, the game can't end that fast. But even though it looked like we won, we didn't. We're down in Lost Kingdom. But let's do Klepto Skip, because I think it's sick. Look at this. One, two, three. Boom. 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 Yeah. Hands down my favorite skip. 
that I'm actually capable of doing. Okay, but let's grab this ground pound moon, this butterfly moon, and this little cave moon. And look at that, we're off to a pretty solid start. Then we quickly grab this shop moon, this moon up in the tree, and we're already halfway down the kingdom. And after a quick jump shattering Mario's legs, we've got another one. Meaning we only need four more moons to finish it. After a quick ground pound and some pretty neat jumps, we had the rest of the moons we needed, and now it was time for everything to fall apart. You see, in most of my runs, I have a pretty solid time all the way from cap to lost. But after that is when everything falls apart. Because for Metro, Luncheon, and Lakeside Kingdom, I have no idea what I'm doing. But nevertheless, we keep on moving, and it's time for Metro Kingdom. Due to my inability to keep track of a route, I kind of just tried to get to the boss fight as quick as possible, getting as many moons as I could along the way. And by the power of editing, we are here. Time to take down the destroyer. And after a few mess ups, we took it out in three cycles. Unfortunate, but whatever, we keep moving. We grabbed our multi moon and moved on to Day Metro, where I can walk around and be absolutely cool. So, first, we possessed this guy and used his car to grab this moon. Which is ethically questionable, but who cares? Then we grabbed a couple sub-area moons, sat on the bench with this very lonely man, and then bounced on the corpse of our enemy. Then we spent a few minutes finding some sub-areas and some story moons, and about four moons later, we are out of Metro Kingdom, with probably one of my fastest times ever, even though there's really not much to compare it to. But just like that, we were off to Seaside, where I would have the worst boss fight of my entire life. So to start off this kingdom, we got the four story moons so we could trigger the boss fight. But oh my gosh, I need a new route for this kingdom because these stupid story moons take way too long. And this boss fight, oh my gosh, it's excruciating. Now I may or may not have not been doing the boss fight correctly, so that might have something to do with it. But shut up, this game sucks, whatever. But after about 10 minutes, we finally beat the boss, grabbed the multi moon, grabbed a few other moons, and we left. But this is probably one of our biggest time losses of the run, because we spent over 20 minutes to do a kingdom with only 10 moons in it. But now that that stupid kingdom's out of the way, it's time to move on to snow. And honestly, this is one of the late kingdoms I don't mind. I think it's alright. At least, it is in comparison to like, this one or luncheon. But anyways, time to move on. And just like that, we are here. And due to my inferior skill level, I can't do snow dram, and I know, I know, it's a time loss, but if I can get over it, so can you. So after jumping down this hole to the village, we grabbed a moon by doing some wall jumps, and then we started heading off for story moons. The thing about these sub areas is that there is enough moons for us to just do them, and then get the multi moon, and we can be out. So after grabbing a couple of Goombas, we hopped onto this pressure plate, and it said, yeah, you're fat enough, and opened the door for us. Then we went on to grab what was basically a free story moon, and headed on to the next sub area, where I got absolutely comboed by this stupid ghost and spiky dude. So we had to come all the way back, grab the ground pound moon, absolutely massacre these families of spiky dudes, and grab the story moon, and we were out. Then we moved on to the next sub area, where we just grabbed some moon shards, and snatched up the story moon, and we were on to the last sub area. Where after trekking up this mountain, I literally died to one of the easiest boss fights in the entire game. So yeah, that was embarrassing. But then we had to reset, come all the way back, and then we beat him up. Then we grabbed our last story moon, and it was on to the race. So after Mario got the consent of this large oval creature, he possessed him, because Mario never possesses without consent. And after Mario was out and possessing people, we went on to the race, where I placed second, meaning we had to spend an entire two minutes doing the race again. But eventually we grabbed the multi moon and we were out of there. And now it was time for my least favorite kingdom in the entire game. And that of course would be Luncheon Kingdom. Now it's not like I think the kingdom looks bad or anything. I, I'm just so incredibly bad at it. And the amount of lava surrounding everything is just so annoying. But let me give you a quick little cut through the kingdom. So you don't have to suffer as much watching this as I did playing it. Let's go.
And finally, after 25 very long minutes, it was time to move on to the final kingdom. That is, after a brief pause to fight the freaking dragon, but whatever. Just gotta yoink those things, slam once, yoink again, slam three times, and boom, absolutely slam. Just gonna take those moons and fix up my ship. Now it's time to go to Bowser's Kingdom. And yet once again, by the power of editing, we are here. Time to go save my imaginary girlfriend and the weird tiara thing, whatever. So we beat up and possessed some birds, grabbed onto this armed electric wire, and absolutely slammed this dude made out of squares. Then we grabbed the moon and moved on to the rest of the level, where we grabbed all five of the moon shards, got absolutely harassed, died, and then grabbed the moon and moved on. Did some quick little jumps to grab this extra moon, and then grabbed onto more live wire and moved to the next part of the level. Now I just quickly want you to remember this spot, because this is where I made a huge mistake, and I'll come back to it in a couple minutes. Now it's time to take out the two bosses before we can move on to the mech fight, which I actually struggled with a decent bit. I died once on both of them. But eventually, after a few attempts, we took them both out and we moved on. After that, we did some absolutely sick parkour with the bird, and then we were at the boss fight. And oh my gosh, I fumbled this fight so bad. Not only did I die, I spent an entire 10 minutes doing this fight altogether. And I wasn't even doing any of the cool stuff, I was just doing the regular intended route, and it still took me almost 10 minutes. Like, what you're watching right now is at 20 times speed. That's how slow I went on this stupid fight. But eventually, after an excruciating 10 minutes, we finally beat the fight. And it was time to move on to Moon Kingdom. Except for one thing. You see, when I got back to the Odyssey, I realized, oh, I'm one moon short. How could that have happened? I thought I grabbed every moon I needed. Well, remember that spot I told you to remember? Yeah, I had to fly all the way back there, purchase the moon, and then fly all the way back to the Odyssey, wasting an entire minute. Which was just really annoying. But anyways, now it's time to move on to Moon Kingdom. And thanks to my newfound ability to warp the planets, we are here. At an astonishing 2 hours and 51 minutes. Anyways, let's go do Moonskip. Now, as this is on my first speedrunning, Moonskip still has always been a little bit shaky. But you're about to see me make the biggest speedrunning mistake I ever have. As of now, it looks like we're gonna get a sub 3 hour time, which honestly I'm pretty chill with for a first run. And when we got to Moonskip, I made it pretty early, like this was my third or fourth attempt, and we made it. And I was pretty excited. But then, I did this. I tried to do this little skip, and I straight up jumped off of the edge, and bonked into the wall, meaning we had to redo the entire moon skip, wasting about 5 minutes of the run, meaning we weren't even gonna get a sub 3 hour. But after I stopped messing around, we crashed the wedding, fought this Bowser dude, used his very convenient hat against him, and then possessed the rest of his corpse. And just like that, we were in the home stretch of the run. And after a little bit of mass destruction and some 2D platforming, we were finally at the end. All we had to do was knock down these pillars and escape before everything blows up. And this is when I made the biggest mistake of my entire run. No, I'm just kidding, nothing happened. This part's pretty easy. <laughs> We took out the pillars, took out the big block in the middle, and the run was over just three minutes over the sub three hour. Let me know down in the comments if you like this video, and if you have any tips as far as video editing or Mario Odyssey speedrunning, both of them would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching to the end, and I hope to see you in the next one. <laughs>